you know, it's <clears throat> you know some things that um that I think people already know, but I'm gonna bring it up anyway. Mm. There's literally nothing a white male in America can do and be condemned for it. He on it. So last, remember a couple episodes ago, was talk about you know George Zimmerman and everything. Let me use an example where mm. he killed this young black teenager, Trayvon Martin, rest in peace. Mm-hmm. And he's received more praise than anything, mm-hmm. than you know backlash from. Of course, you see backlash from black community, of course, but overall. Mm-hmm. And I say this to say this. Remember the whole. Uh, I don't know if you heard the situation with the the maggot kids. Yeah. The maggot kids. The maggot kids. <laughs> Yes, with um, uh, the Native American Vietnam War vet, mm-hmm. Nathan Phillips. Word. Um, See, can I put, can I put no, a go ahead, side go ahead. Bar, bar, dog? That's why I don't, I, I, I don't believe in fighting for these crackers, dog. Yeah. Mm-mm. If, you, if you're in the, the military, more power to you. For real. Respect. I got family in the military that I love. I got friends and family, facts. You know what I'm saying? However, as of right now, as a black man, I'd be like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on that um, lo- um, buddy from Boys in the Hood, the, the dad. Uh, um, I mean, Trey's no, dad. Trey's dad. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. no place for a black man. I agree with for him. For real. Well, don't, why would you fight for a country that wouldn't fight for you? Bingo. You know what I mean? And, you know, like you said, Nathan Phillips is a great example. Mm-hmm. Um, I, Long story short, there was a, I think there was a rally or something going on, and the MAGA kids was out there with their hats. Mm-hmm. And the initial video came out where Nathan Philo- Phillips is um, banging his Native American drum, mm-hmm. you know, peacefully. Mm-hmm. And there's this smug little kid. Mm-hmm. He's in high school. I forgot his name. Smug little motherfucker just standing in his face smiling word. while his MAGA homeboys back there doing the MAGA word, shit. Word, word. And when the initial video came out, I was like, of course these crackers would do word. some shit like that. Word, word. But then more video came out where... The MAGA kids were going at it with black Israelites. Mm-hmm. And if you don't know what the black Israelites are, they believe they're the true children of Israel and they're mm-hmm. real Jews. And, you mm-hmm. know, they're, they're more pro-black than dead might. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Like black, black, blackity black. And right, there's right. nothing wrong with that. However, that's a whole other discussion. Yeah, yeah. You know. But, um, you know, and then um, the tide turned. Everybody was like, oh, see, you liberals jump to conclusions. Mm-hmm. How you going to try to ruin this kid's life, blah, blah. First mm-hmm. of all, mm-hmm. you still don't know the whole thing. Yeah. There's other videos. Word, word. Like, there's a video where these but girls... Then, are, but then what does that, that prove? That proves that... Like, they will they will try their hardest and dig their deepest mm-hmm. just to excuse a racist. Oh, yeah. It's friggin' ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And guess what? This nigga is on a TV I, show now. And they're talking about, you're trying so hard to ruin his life. I'm like... Yeah. Like, I was no. talking about, I've never seen people trying to ruin somebody's life so bad. Trayvon Martin, Word. Mike Brown, <laughs> Philando Castile. Word, y'all, y'all need to keep y'all, going. Y'all and they're their, dead. Word, y'all and they t- passed away. Word, y'all took their life and then muddied Pros- their name. Mother, mother, the defend, dead man's name to 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 Jordan Bell, word, word. Sean Bell. Sorry, I, I believe it's like Jordan Davis, but anyway, mm. Sean, a whole bunch of them. You mm. know what I'm saying? And the reason I said my statement earlier, where white man can't do anything, this man, this kid did this, mm. and now he's on a TV show defending himself for what? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He like, gets to defend himself exactly. Like word. And it's 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 so <laughs> it's you could tell it's just lying, yo. Yeah. I was there, and then he came in my face. Da, da, da. From the video, you could just tell it didn't go that way. It didn't go that way. But then people are just eating up what he says, mm-hmm. and like it's it's so it's so bad. And then when you when you juxtapose it to um, a Chris Brown situation. Oh wait! Before we jump to Chris Brown, mm. don't even know who we are. Oh snap! Yes, you know we we went, we, we went off with a little early what? TPSG wild ass tangent, tangent, you know, what I'm saying? and then we brought it back. You know, it's your mom's favorite podcast, your dad's favorite podcast, your auntie, your uncle, Word. the physics study group hashtag TPSG podcast, mm-hmm. and it's your boy Dramatic, aka Wave Chappelle, aka Wave McGrady, aka Black Galifianakis, aka Indian No Do Rag Necessary hashtag Natural Waves. Hey, and this is Flock of Zulu, aka Nigga Demas, aka Pablo Escovich, aka No More AK. Stop the violence. Bloop, bloop, bloop. AKA, and as you... aka longest intro ever. Ever. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, was that five minutes in before we were like, oh. Yeah, yeah, you know, because the the, the maggots, dog, they always get you riled up. You know word, what I'm saying? Word, and right. as you see, it's fifty percent of the TBSG podcast. You know. <laughs> Bumaye is still on his Sasuke. Word, word. And I seen Black, he still hasn't told these people he's not a secret agent. Word. But he's all, he's all up in the people, them, 
um layer and stuff word. secret in, layer in their in their lounge in their secret agent lounge. right you nigga been to europe like eight times this past word. week because you know in movies all that shit always happens in europe all the spy shit oh yeah because james bond anyway <laughs> oh, yeah. but anyway yes we back for <laughs> another episode and as you just brought up chris brown mm-hmm. and if you haven't heard he was in paris and he got accused of rape by a young lady mm-hmm. and let me tell you mm-hmm. now his history. He has a bad history. Yeah. He's a violent man. Yeah. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. He mm. beat Rihanna, mm-hmm. even though there's conspiracy theories about that. Mm. There's a conspiracy theory that they were fighting, but still, you don't hit a woman. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, he, he, um, that situation, MTV, he threw the chair out the window. Mm-hmm. You know, he's had anger issues. Mm-hmm. So once this came to light, Twitter tore him down. Word. But oh, you know, see? You know who else who has, who, who has had problems like that before? Mm-hmm. Justin Bieber. Oh yeah, but he, know, he's a he's a, it's a lily little white boy from Canada. You word, know what I'm saying? Word, not comparing word, because word. because people love attacking you like, oh, why are you comparing? I'm not comparing. Mm. I'm just saying both of them have issues, and you're focusing on one. Word. If you really about the issues, word. you would focus on everyone, not just one person. Word, word. And I want to say first of all, this nigga puts himself. Well, I don't want to say puts himself in a situation, but well, yeah, kind of. Well, all right, all right. The thing is, how the story went, he got accused of rape. You know, um, people on Twitter tore him a new one, talk about, oh, of course, this is continued behavior. He's an abuser, of course, and he said. And then the other side of Twitter, which is the ignorant side of Twitter, like they don't process things. Mm. They're like, oh, why Chris Brown got to rape a woman? He can get any bitch you want. It's not about that, nigga. Mm. If you're gonna defend Chris Brown, defend him properly. Mm. Raping a woman has nothing to do whether you want her, whether she's attracted to her, it's attraction anyway. Mm, it's, it's a forced sexual act. It's a power thing. It's a power thing. For mm. instance, this football player, um, Darren Sharper. Mm. No homo. He's a very good looking guy. Mm. Before um, his rape allegations came, all of women were swooning over him. You know, they love I look. But came out, he raped seven women. Whoa. Drugged them. Whoa. Drug, and he's in jail now. Wow. This man is a Super Bowl champion. He's in jail now. Mm. But that goes to show you that it doesn't matter about how you look or it's not about that. Mm. The rape is not about that. Y'all need to get that through y'all dense heads. Word, it's word. ridiculous. But the girl came out and said Chris Brown had no involvement. Mm. And those same people, and I'm not going to say which gender, mm. the same people on Twitter that was bashing him, no apologies. Mm. Of course. Yeah. And now Chris no, Brown is are, suing that girl. No, people are still bashing him because people still... Like believe he did it, even though the girl said she didn't. Because people aren't looking for that information. No, they're not. They're only looking for the information that validates what they think already. Thank you. They think like if you go online and you see things, oh, he's a woman beater, da da da, da. and you know, not to say people he's people are wrong. He did mm-hmm. beat a woman. Yeah, he did. You know what I'm saying? But then oh, sorry. And another one, he, he was, remember he stalked Karuchi mm. when he was with. I think that's how I said it, Karuchi. Mm. Um, Karachi. she had it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> she had to get a restraining order. Yeah. So we know he has issues, but yeah. rape is a heavy allegation. Word, word. Karachis. <laughs> Karachis. <laughs> but rape is a heavy allegation. Word. And people, whenever, whenever, especially sometimes when a man brings this up, and sometimes men bring this up in order to deflect. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so I understand that. Mm-hmm. However, not every time it's brought up, it is to deflect. Women who falsely accuse mm-hmm. pe- um, people of, of, of rape mm-hmm. should face heavy consequences. Agreed. Because, Be- one, you make it harder for a woman who may be real, who have really been assaulted. Yeah, by crying wolf. Yeah, by exactly. crying wolf. Exactly. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? To me, you the, you the roaches of the roach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As a woman, you really, you really pull in power from other women. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And... And they should be held accountable. I agree. I agree 100%. You know what I'm saying? Everybody should be held accountable. I feel like whenever you speak on um, the accountability of one party, mm-hmm. um, people all, always tend to, or some, sometimes people tend to... Um, deflect. Deflect or say, yeah, say you're just completely for that side. It's like, no, it encompasses it. Exactly. Yeah. You have to include both sides. Word. For a, for a sound argument. Word. <laughs> Ultimately, is the man responsible for not, um, um, for not, for not raping? Um, it, yes. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean? you know what I mean? Are we, it's on us 
to educate ourselves, our, our brothers, you know, our, our sons, sisters. our sisters, everybody. No, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Everybody. That's our responsibility. Um, it's the only way the neighborhood could build and get better. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. But then there, all, there also has to be um, accountability um, on the other side, too. Yeah, and like, and when you try to um, call them out for their accountability, they bring numbers like, oh, well, the amount of women that are raped and the amount of women that lied about being raped is so different. Okay, I understand that, but mm -hmm. principle. Yeah. Even though, let's say 15,000 women were actually raped, mm -hmm. but only 100 lied about being raped. Mm -hmm. That's 100 men's lives ruined. So you can add it to that 15,000 mm -hmm. of lives ruined. Yeah, you yeah. Know, you, you, you understand what I'm saying, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and you made a good point, right? I'd even think about that. You were... Like you say, you're ruining for other women that actually were raped. Mm -hmm. and they they need to be heavily punished. Yeah. Now, I was having a discussion with friends the other day, and somebody asked, if a woman lied about being raped, does she deserve to go to jail? And that's a tricky question, because sometimes women do lie because they're scared to come out about it. So it's better to ask, if you actually found, if there's evidence, you found out that she was lying, mm -hmm. she should be punished. Mm -hmm. Because some women, unfortunately, do lie. Because they're so broken and messed up, they don't want to talk about it, mm. and they know people are not going to believe them. So they're like, "No, no, no, forget it," we're, which is insane to me. We're at, we're true, and if you if you make it to where um, false accusers are are arrested, mm -hmm. I just thought about this: like, what if someone's really really raped, but then they can't it can't be proven or, or for whatever whatever reason? Yeah, it's, there's it's a, a potential for innocent women. Who've already been victimized to be victimized again, again by the system. True. So I mean, dang, it's yeah, it's, it's a double edged sword. It's tricky. It's a double edged yeah. sword, but it's, I mean, you know, you can make the whole argument that oh, maybe Chris Brown threatened her, paid her off, da da da, blah blah. But right now, as we know, just as you knew that mm -hmm. she that he raped her mm -hmm. allegedly, mm -hmm. and you don't have much evidence about that, she mm -hmm. came out and said I wasn't raped. We don't have any evidence about that. They're on the same level right yeah. now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. What, what, and to make it worse, not to be a conspiracy theorist, but he just became the youngest artist to own his masters, mm. and then that happened. Mm -hmm. So it's it's this it's this bad timing. Word word. It's terrible timing. It's a grab at the bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and some women are like that. Like th there was this there was this um I forgot his name this this football player he like and not even him but several other they he served. Like four or five years, and I guess the guilt ate the ate the lady up, mm. and she came out and said that, you know, he did it rape me. I lied, and this man lost out on millions. He was supposed to be a first round draft pick. Mm. Oh wow! And he lost out on everything, and I think he sued her too. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. But like the thing is, it's like it's a double edged you know, sword. It's a real you, sensitive subject. You got to look on the other side of the table too. Like imagine how a man feels after the accusation of actually uh, being a rapist. Yeah, you know, especially if you close with the females in your family, or just mm -hmm. in general, like mm -hmm. being accused as a murderer, I feel is almost lighter than being accused as a rapist. I'm sure. Rapist. I, no, because with murder you get life. With rape, you yeah. get a certain amount. You can come out, and then you have to live with that no, tag. I mean you know what I'm saying? Something. It's kind of like with pedophiles. Like it's something related mm. to sex. Mm. Yes, that makes it almost seem worse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if you ran up in a store, you was high up on whatever meth and you fucking killed a nigga, it almost don't seem as bad as someone like looking in the eyes of the victim and fucking doing some shit like that to them. Yeah, yeah because yeah. the victim I mean? has to live with that. Yeah, you kill yeah. somebody, yeah. they're done. Yeah, yeah. They're you done, rape someone, yeah. they have to live yeah. with that. You can you yeah. could you could kill somebody by accident. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. What I'm exactly. Saying? You don't yeah, rape especially, anyone by accident. Especially <laughs> nowadays, you know, it, it takes a a special type of but I mean, we we brought that up to kind of to kind of bring in the point of of mm -hmm. um, just I don't know, accountability, just like how how people perceive things. Yeah, don't because, jump to conclusions. Because yeah. when when it when it's a black man already guilty, people are like this that that because like, of his history. Oh yeah, yeah. His past but, on him. Yeah. But even even Bill Cosby. Oh, you should have seen people. Oh thought man, Bill Cosby, all types of piece of shit. Oh yeah. At, at this point, I can't disagree with you. Yeah. But where is that same energy for? for that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's for Kavanaugh, for for Sergeant Orange, um, for Weinstein, Weinstein, R. Kelly, R. R, R Kelly. Well, no, no, no. See, that's the thing. That's another eggshell area you have to walk on. I don't know if you heard. You heard what happened with Taraji P Henson? Um, no. Okay, she posted this video on her Instagram story of her. I guess she was on her her um tablet, 
and she Googled, like she was, um, she, no, sorry, she went on Instagram and searched Mute R. Kelly, the hashtag. Mm. And it was a bunch of hashtags, Mute R. Kelly, California, Mute R. Kelly, Florida, blah, blah. And she's like, all right, let me check something else. And then she put Mute Weinstein, mm. one hashtag. Mute mm. Harvey Weinstein, mm. no hashtags. And mm. then she was like, hmm, that's all she did. Mm. Twitter dragged her through glass through the desert. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And she, and she cleared herself up. Mm -hmm. And I understand where she was coming from because, like I said on other podcasts, there is a conspiracy to tear down the black men as much as they can, especially mm. if you're in a higher position. Oh, yeah. But like I said, R. Kelly is not that. Yeah. He is a monster, so mm. he deserves to be torn down. Mm. So does everyone else. Word. But the thing is, because he's black, mm. they put all the attention on him. Now, people will say, oh, uh, Weinstein lost his company. He's in trial right now, blah, blah, blah. Even though one of the women dropped out. Mm. Um, I forgot her name. I don't even want to quote her name wrong, but she dropped out from the case. Um, and you know, isn't perse persecuting Harvey Weinstein anymore. Mm. But the thing is, um, the, sorry, even, the, sorry, even that comes with backlash. <laughs> yeah, coming out and say, "Hey, this person did this to me." You da, 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 like people like outright like I, I'm I, I'm still truly disgusted. Yeah. Uh, the Kavanaugh situation, how that handled. Yeah. Now he's in a high position in office. Bro. I'm disgusted with how he handled it. Bro. <laughs> yeah, he was, he's, he's like, like a, a child. He's a 15-year-old in the cafeteria <laughs> talking <laughs> to the blah, 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 blah. Word. And then Wait, he are you just kidding gets, me? And you then just... him and his constituents just get validated. Exactly. And you then, just... And then now it's like, and see? Sworn in. Yeah. Exactly. See? And, when, and that translates to innocence in their eyes. Exactly. You know, oh, I got were, away with it. Where he wasn't found guilty, so da 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 I'm like, y'all didn't say that about OJ. Exactly. But, you, know. you know what's so crazy? <laughs> the other day on uh, Breakfast Club, I was watching Andrew Gillum, mm -hmm. uh, the representative for Florida. Shout out, Brother Gillum. Recently. And um, it was so funny how he explained some of the intricacies of how important it was for them to get the guy, the Republican guy that they got, mm -hmm. because he knows that Republicans have to secure Flo Florida mm -hmm. in order to get the presidency. Mm -hmm. Who yeah. wants to be president again? Trump. And he was saying that like during that that election time, mm -hmm. Trump was all over Florida, just visiting. Oh yeah, just mm -hmm. coming through. I remember that. It's, it's just those intricacies, like mm -hmm. you never know. And then we're sitting here. Three and a half years from then, or two and a half years from now, like damn, why they won Florida? Mm -hmm. He put that in the bag from 2019. Yeah, from yeah. From, from way you back. I know, a lot of those towns he hasn't been back since. Nope. <laughs> and that's <laughs> yeah. that's what Chappelle tried to yeah. tell you, Word. broke, missing two trailer park crackers. He's not yeah. for you. Word. He came here he to get them. what he wanted. He got it and he dipped on you. He had them crackers. You're not space for us. Look yeah, like and oh, bring back um. Uh, um, coal the mining and shit. Word. Yeah, you want black lung that bad? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with Word. you? Space Force. Space Force, bro. That shit. Word, bro. And now the government shut down because of your dumb ass. Word. Now you can't get your food stamps. Word. We gotta get we gotta get space ISIS. Out space there. ISIS. Out shut the, the fuck before they blow up. It up the, blow up the sun and destroy the earth. Yeah, but all in all, man, like it, it, when it comes to that, when it comes to the um, the situation of rape and everything. You have to treat it delicately. Mm. On one hand, of course, don't just deny the woman that said she was raped. Don't say you don't believe her. Handle it as if it did happen. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, just don't automatically accuse the man mm. or the person who raped this individual. Mm. You have to treat it. Right. You, know, you have to treat it equally. Have a fair and trial. Have a fair trial. Yeah, have a fair trial. You know, it's and a, and once again, I understand that nine times so, out of ten, the truth gonna wash out. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. I understand that some women don't want to come forward. I understand, but there's a proper, there's a right and a wrong way to do everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you will look stupid. Word. You, will, you will bash this man, find out he's innocent. Oh, well, Word. he was a piece of shit back then. Word. That's why yeah. I don't, I don't be, I, I save my, my comments, my judgments a lot until like everything comes up. Yeah, I feel you. Because pe people, people just lean in. Based I'm on their you. own prejudices. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, they're in their little bubble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. It, it, nothing outside of that, you know, can convince them otherwise. That's the only way to word, put it. Word, word. There, <laughs> there was something else I wanted to to to, to touch on. Oh, this, uh, uh, our logo behind us kind of reminds me what we're going to talk about. Um, you know, the Oscars. You know, uh, the, the Oscar statue is gold. Anyway, mm. that was a forced transition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
but you know, onto some, onto some, um, you know, much calmer and better news. Word. The Oscar is on the way, and Black Panther got a, uh, nominated for seven Oscars mm. total, and one of them is Film of the Year, and it's the first comic book movie to get nominated for that. So. Nice. Nice. Round of applause to Ryan Coogler and everybody and Marvel and everything. Word, 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 word. And oh, my bad. No, no, good. One, one thing to go back on. I was, I wanted to say that just because this whole like it's been, it's been sensationalized. You know, Me Too mm-hmm. stuff like that has been happening. I feel like with that, it kind of there, there's a double edged sword with that because. People in general are opportunists. Yes, I I I, I believe that. You know what I'm saying. 100%. So I, I see this as people like some some might find this an opportunity. Is, oh, if I do this, they're definitely gonna believe me now because you know the whole the, the, Man, most of those which, movies, which which, which which hurts the movement at the same time. Like you know, it has it has it has good intentions. I believe in the intentions. Mm-hmm. Get all these creeps out, out of here, Hollywood, yeah. da, 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 but they're not playing the game fair. No, they're not. They're like get all the black creeps out and keep all the white ones. But yeah, anyway. yeah, that that's a whole nother discussion. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a whole nother discussion. Right. But um, yes, Black Panther mm. is the first one. And then you know I was reading an article about you know everybody saying first of all I've never. <laughs> it, it's so funny when Black Panther came out, everybody was on it and it was mm. beautiful. Mm. Everybody was wearing the dashikis and the African garbs and mm. everything. Everybody's united, blah blah. Word. And then you and have the, the fa- people on the other side, the face ass niggas, the well, face ass niggas. Oh, it's just a movie mm. and da da blah. Uh, the blah. same niggas that watch Lord of the Rings and think Mordor is a place <laughs> that thinks Mordor exists. Word. You hypocrite. Cratic fuck faces, Word. hypocritical fuck faces. Nigga, you can <laughs> speak parcel tongue, dog. Let let people live. Right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like let people love Westeros and all that. It's Word. it's the same thing you're doing, but when Word. we start doing this, it, an issue. Word. When we people Word. people are actually online talk. You know, Wakanda doesn't exist. Who said it Duh. did? Let us let us let Duh. us like something. Duh. But what's your problem? There's niggas out there learning how to speak Dothraki. Yes, nobody. That does. shit don't exist. Nobody's a, you know, no, bro. Let people live. No, bro. let people have fun. It's not Word. like it's not like we're doing something bad. If we're running like, around and vandalizing and saying Wakanda a, forever, that's duh. different. Whenever we you do something saying? in mass, is an issue, bro. I'm telling you. And then, um, more good news from the Oscars. Spike Lee, mm. one of my favorite directors, personally, mm. um, finally got nominated. Mm-hmm. Finally got a nomination for a director of the year movie of movie of the year for Black Klansman. It's you know it's directed by Spike Lee. It's a story of a uh, black police officer who you know signed up for uh, I forgot what city it was. Forgive me, but, but I think in like Mississippi or something. So, you know signed up to be a police officer, and his plan was to infiltrate the KKK. It's mm-hmm. based on a true story. Mm-hmm. You can look at the video. Um, um, who kid? You know, when you get a chance, look up the guy's name and everything. Um, and it stars John David Washington, mm. Denzel Washington's son, yeah. and he sounds just like him. It's mm. eerie. <laughs> like, I'm watching him, I'm like, damn, you sound like your daddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, the movie's about him. He's your daddy's son. <laughs> you your daddy's son. Right. Hey, um, yeah, the, mo- the movie is about him infiltrating the KKK, but mm. what he did, he used his, um, his, his white partner. Mm. So he would... He um he he was on the phone talking to Bill Duke, who is the mm-hmm. grand who at the time was the grand wizard of the KKK. Mm-hmm. He put on his white voice mm-hmm. and he was like, you know, I hate blacks, Jews, but and you mm-hmm. know, Bill Duke kind of accepted him. Mm-hmm. But then he was like, all right, how am I gonna go talk to them? Word. So he turned to his by partner. The, by the way, the KKK <laughs> still exists, but not the Black Panthers. Carry on. Never forget. <laughs> It's Ron Stallworth. Ron Stallworth. And he's still alive. He still has his KKK member card. Wow. It's crazy. That shit is that shit is crazy. And you know, that's what the movie's about. So please check it out. And the reason it's so insane to me is because Spike Lee has made tons of great movies. Do the right thing, mm-hmm. Malcolm X, 25th hour, yeah. Crooklyn. Shout out to Janelle. She tried to sneak in, but we're going Nelly Nell. <laughs> Crooklyn. Mm. Yeah, um, this is right up his alley. Yeah. This, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And for instance, the, the one that kills me the most is Malcolm X. Mm. You couldn't tell me that wasn't the actual Malcolm X in that movie. Bro. Denzel put his foot up to his knee Bro. in Big that role. Big Bro. shout out to Word. Denzel Washington. And, and they snubbed him. Huh. They snubbed him and they gave the Oscar to 
Al Pacino, Al Pacino for um Sin of a Woman. He played a blind Vietnam vet, mm. and he was like, it, it's it's it wasn't a bad movie. So it was it, playing of scent. The, he was going off scent. Doing hell of a scent. So he was, yeah, exactly. He was, he was going off he was scent. A, he was going on smelling these women's. Exactly. exactly. You know like, what I'm saying? But it wasn't fully about that. So it was like, instead of, you, you know how Ray Charles grabbed him by the wrist. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> Am I in the fish market? She, oh, wow. <laughs> but she, yeah. She smelled fine. But yeah, like Denzel put his foot into that role. The movie was well shot, well written, and he was even not Denzel was not like I said. Denzel was nominated, but Spike Lee wasn't nominated for movie of the year. He's been out forever, mm. and he's just now getting nominated. Word. Remember a couple years ago, the hashtag Oscar's so white. Mm-hmm. Oscar's been so white. Yeah, they should have changed the hashtag to that. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, pe- black people still winning. Still becoming first black person to da 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 da. Dog, it's you know? 2018. Word, word. And then not to mention when they give us the Oscars, mm-hmm. Holly Berry had to play a prostitute. Mm. Denzel Watts had to play a crooked cop. Mm. Lupita Nyong'o had to play a slave that got raped. Mm. The first woman, the first black woman to play to win an Oscar, she played a slave. Mm. Um, uh, the the lady from the Help, she was a slave. You 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 see what I'm getting word, at? They, they Monique were... was a piece of shit mother and precious. You mm. wanna. Like why do we have to? Uh, they reward us for the for the roles that they already think we are. We, thank you, sir. <laughs> That's exactly what they wow. do. Wow. And I can comb through Hollywood and find so many black people roles that deserve Oscars. But mm. oh, I don't know if you know who Kim Basinger is. is there... Kim Basinger. No. Yeah, she she's an old she's an old W actor. She she's mm. cool. Mm. Um, at the Oscars, um, do the right thing came out in like eighty nine. So the Oscars is in ninety, I think. That grubber. And she was about to present. Best picture, like the only thing, do the right thing was nominated for best original script, mm. but she was about to um announce the best picture, and before she did, I like show you the video later, um she was like basically saying it's a shame, it's a damn shame mm-hmm. that do the right thing wasn't nominated because it tells the truth, but it's probably not the truth y'all want to hear. Mm. You've seen do the right thing, right? Um yes, yeah. He Spike Lee was ahead of his time. Remember mm-hmm. how the movie ended with Radio Rahim and everything? Mm-hmm. That was in eighty nine. We still gonna do that shit right now. Mm-hmm. And she, this white lady, Kim Beige was big in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. And once she said that, you noticed she kinda like dwindled off. Oh. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't in a lot of great roles. She was in like LA Confidential, but after that she kinda like dwindled off. And mm-hmm. like uh, according to the tweet, she has agoraphobia. You know what that is? Agoraphobia? Yeah, it's a fear of talking in front of crowds. Oh. And she went up there, mm. out her own mouth, out her own energy. She didn't have to and praise Spike Lee and do the right. And you should have heard her in the voice. She was so nervous, mm. but she did it anyway. And I appreciate her for that. Word, word. You know word. what I'm saying? And it, it's fucking disgusting. It's like, Spike Lee's been making movies since the 80s, and mm. he's just getting a best director no- nomination, not mm. even a win. Word, nomination. Word. word. And, he's a, <laughs> and he's a legend in the hood, bro. Legend. You know what Granted. What I'm he does have some bad ones, but every director has bad movies. Mm-hmm. But like it's it's like you, you, you tell me you saying? snubbed him for that long. Word. And, and you people, you like I know you crackers like some of his movies. Of course, bro. They <laughs> and they, they keep giving giving M Night Shyamalan chances after chances, and but he 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 makes he he makes he'll he'll have like he makes good movies. Some, he does, but sometimes the twists are like. <laughs> really dog. All right, for instance, the build up is is better than it, the than the the twist itself. I feel like he gets a lot of unnecessary flack because, the, all right, the thing is, I feel like he gets flack because he will present something as a horror movie, mm. and then it won't be. Mm. It'll just be a good movie, and people go and expect in a horror, and they don't get it, and they look past it being an actual the, good movie. That's not with The Village. That's what I'm talking about. The mm. Village was good. Mm. I like The Village. Mm-hmm. For, for the time where it was supposed to be scary, it was. Mm. But after she jumped over, oh, spoiler alert. Mm-hmm. Five, four, three. Yeah. After he jumped over the wall, mm. I was in the movie there. Everybody was groaning like, what? Yeah. What? Da, 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 blah, blah. And then what happened, happened. Mm. But what's dope about the movie, because remember, she's blind. Mm. And she lived in that little recluse village for so long. Mm. And they fed her that monster story for so long. She jumped the wall. Mm. She talked to the dude. M. Night Shyamalan played. Mm. She got the medicine for the dude that got stabbed or whatever. And she still believed mm. That where she lived was real. That's why it's a good movie. Yeah. Like she he's trying to show that you can get so scared and desensitized in something mm. that even like 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 even if somebody tells you the truth about you, it's like 
I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why it was a good move. But after she jumped the wall, everybody was like, oh, shut the fuck up. This is whack. No. Yo. You just have bad taste. Yo. That's what that movie was about, man. You described America. Oh, we. You know what I'm saying? We just Ooh, went we. we just went places. Yo, I just want you to know on uh, live, uh-huh. everyone trashing you for liking the village. Oh, <laughs> kiss my ass. <laughs> I don't <laughs> care. Y'all don't know movies. <laughs> I didn't say it was the greatest movie. It's not even his best movie. His best movie by far is Sixth Sense, obviously. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to debate that. This, <laughs> it's Sixth Sense, Signs, Unbreakable, Split. Not in this order. Um, What was the other one? Uh, Even Signs was... I enjoyed Science. Science was great. It had I, one of the best jump scares ever. Where, oh, we was watching TV, where, and Wampy where, Phoenix was like, Vomit those children, vomit those. And that alien walked by, I almost bro, shit myself. Bro, Are you for, kidding me? For real, that was awesome. Man. I, 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 enjoyed the, um, I enjoyed the movie. But then it's only to, because I watch it, when it came, I watched it. 02. 02. I was, yeah. I was what, 12, 13? Yeah. So... I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't realize the plot in the story till late years later. I'm like, water. See, yeah. See, that's the thing. The atmosphere. That's the thing. It's what? like this is the like, atmosphere. Like, if if water killed, like, was there a weakness? Mm-hmm. The atmosphere would kill them. The, the exactly. air would kill see, them. See, see, see. That's a see. see <laughs> that's the thing about M Night Shyamalan movie. I'm about to hit you with an analogy. Mm-hmm. This is an M Night Shyamalan movie. Mm-hmm. M Night picks you up in a limo on a date. <laughs> On your way, you drink a champagne, you vibe, and you get to your favorite restaurant. He orders your favorite thing mm. after he takes you to, you know, a movie or whatever, blah, blah. Mm. And then he takes you back to your crib. You invite him in. Y'all about to have sex. And he has a micro penis. That's a, that's a M. Night Shyamalan movie. The build up and then the twist is like, what? <laughs> what is this? You know what I'm saying? Word. But it's not all of his movies. So, so when guys take you People on a date, online agree fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Um, I think um, another one is uh, Vice. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Vice. You know the the uh, the story about uh, George Bush's vice president. Oh, Dick Cheney. Oh, Dick Cheney. Story about Dick Cheney. Word. You should respond to some of these things on here. What they say? <laughs> oh, it's not. Take it and flip the camera. Oh, hold on. Are you just hold now on. passing? <laughs> no, he wasn't paying attention. So, um, <laughs> hold on. Let, he said tragedy. He said they won't win because too many black people in the movie. <laughs> they said that's why they were nominated. Mm. And then everybody, you know, everybody's gonna say, "Oh, it's pity." You know what I'm saying? Like, no, Good. no, no. Not only did it have a full black cast and everything, it mm. was a blockbuster. It was Word. a high selling movie that year. Word. It's a high selling Marvel movie ever. Word. It's a high selling um, superhero movie ever. Word. It's a high selling movie with all black cast ever. Word. That shit is serious. Word. And why? You see movies all the time with all white cast and you don't blink your eye. And a white washed cast. A white washed cast. A cast that's supposed to be all black. Word. Like they they Word. want me to think Christian Bale is from Egypt. What? Fuck you, bro. That what is did your, you talk about? That movie was what? Granted, Christian Bale's one of my favorite actors. Word. That nigga puts the method in method actor. However, he's not from Egypt. <laughs> Word. You know what I'm saying? Word. <laughs> and 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 you make a movie about. A country on the African continent, and 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 you feel a way about the cast being black, bro. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying, like how, it's all how Asians. Dare you, how dare you get mad at us for wanting facts? Word, it's all <laughs> Asians in a kung fu movie. Oh shit! Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> well, that's what happens. Well, that's that's what, what, what you know. what I'm saying that's what happens oh. when you go to certain geographical locations. It's exactly, full of, full of motherfuckers that look a certain way. But shout out Geekland online. He said that white guy in Black Panther will get best actor though. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> They had to they had to have a W in the mix. But anyway. Um Round Bottom Girls, that's another one. Word. Black Panther 2 will have all white cast with blackface. <laughs> Y'all niggas wild. But then <laughs> there's more pr- and uh, that's another thing. There's more pressure on us to be inclusive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like And we're naturally more inclusive too. So um the ones that are nominated is Bohemian Rhapsody, the favorite, Black Panther, the Shape of No, no, sorry, this is old. Um yeah, Bohemian Rhapsody, Black Panther, the favorite. And and on Roma, it's a it's a foreign language film. Okay, but um, I'm not gonna lie. I've only seen a couple of these. Mm-hmm. I only saw Black Panther, and yeah, that that, that was it. I didn't see Bohemian Rhapsody. Word. We need to watch that. I want to watch that. No, no, no. It's a it's a great movie because you know 
I spoke to people that that watched it or whatever. But mm-hmm. I don't want to. I want to see get some insight on how they made music, bro. Because they literally like their songs like layers, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. They they don't. Bohemian Rhapsody is a fantastic example, bro. That song is actually seventeen songs, bro. <laughs> it, it is that that. That that's one of the like greatest and, songs ever. All right, here and is. somebody to love, bro. On um, Black Panther, Black Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody, the favorite, Green Book, mm. Roma, A Star Is Born, and Vice. Okay, I've seen only Black oh, Klansman man. and Black Panther. You know what I'm worried about? I'm holding up my Black Power Fist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm worried about A Star Is Born, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Low well, key, low key, they kind of owe Bradley. For that movie, because um, they kind of snubbed him on um, what's the one where he played the guy with the mental condition? Um, Silver Linings Playbook. Oh, oh shot. That was a real good movie, but you know mm. Bradley Cooper. You know, I think he directed in the wrote the screenplay or whatever. But, uh, but. America, though, it got Lady Gaga. Oh yes, W is love Lady Gaga. Yes, Wait, they that, do. It has Chappelle's in that movie, ain't it? That's another reason why. I'm, oh, Chappelle's in it. You're included. Shut up. You don't understand the word inclusion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yes, shout out to hashtag Oscars so damn black. Word. I made up that hashtag. If you see it after this episode, word. they stole it from word. me. Oh, and when they, when they do include us, there's always one of us that ain't in regular niggas tax bracket. Oh, you got Chappelle in your movie. Oh, you have Chris Rock in your movie. Oh, you got Eddie Murphy in your movie. Yeah, like, oh, you, oh, the... the the one of the Rat Pack. That's that's their version of the one drop rule. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, oh, we have a drop of black people in there. Stop complaining. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you're going to, trust me, you're going to see the people that are on the whole, oh, they're just like, doing this because for pity. and mm-hmm. No, no, it was whenever, a block, like, whenever, whenever we get it, uh-huh. it's uh, they're always going to say it's because we're black. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes it is. Mm-hmm. But if you keep that mentality, then you'll always be like that. You can never think you can make something that's universally accepted or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, the reason it sh- it can and it might and it should win um, Oscar for Best Film is look at Titanic. Mm-hmm. That was the biggest blockbuster of that year and it won. Mm-hmm. That movie is still a 50-50 on people. Yeah. Not to be sexist or rude or anything, but most of the people I know who love that movie are women. Because it's a good love story and everything. Mm-hmm. But Black Panther... You know, was universally loved. Now, um, Titanic got a good rating. I'm not well, saying it's a bad movie. And that was a long but movie too. That, yeah, it's, and I got two sisters, dog. You <laughs> watched the fuck out of that movie, dog. That's a chunk out of your life you can never Bro, get back. Bro, and they cried every motherfucking time, dog. But I still gotta watch it, dog. I owe somebody something. Anyway, <laughs> you ain't seen it before? Nah, I ain't never seen Titanic. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta cut out three hours. I watched The Godfather. That movie's almost three hours. You know That's worth it. I'm not gonna lie. You could watch Titanic and enjoy. I enjoyed Titanic. No, the I'm first. Not, I'm not saying I won't enjoy five it. Five times I watched it, Danielle. <laughs> Renee. <laughs> Shout out to the uh, Flock of Zulu sisters putting them through that torture. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I just haven't gotten around. I've watched. I haven't watched a lot of movies. People say, "Oh, you haven't watched that." Mm-hmm. But anyway, that's the fact that it's the based point. on a true story. That's just so is Black Panther. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> So, trust me, if Black Panther wins, I won't be surprised because it was the biggest blockbuster in recent years. You know, you know what's, um, you know what's crazy about the Titanic? What? There was a novel that came out years before the actual Titanic was built about a supposedly unsinkable ship going into the Illuminati. ocean. Illuminati. And hitting an iceberg. Like, literally the same way how the Titanic um, sunk. And then, a little over a couple years later, they built a ship, called it Unsinkable, and then hit the iceberg. And then they made a movie out of it. Word. Hashtag Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag respect icebergs. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I, Is that where the um that saying, <coughs> it's only the tip of the iceberg comes from? I know it doesn't. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm being silly. <laughs> but yes, hashtag Oscars. So damn black. Mm-hmm. And speaking of black, blackity fi, black, awesome. black, blackity black, black. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple of days ago we celebrated MLK Day. Yes, but I had to go to work. Mm-hmm. I'm kidding. That was rude. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we celebrated MLK Day, and um, one thing I really find interesting about Martin Martin Luther King Day is. Each year, it reveals more and more about people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Pr- particularly white people. Mm-hmm. So there was a lot of 
you we, know, we, we beating W's up a lot today. Hey. It is what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not, I hate all white people. I'm not that guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I hate you bad ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it but, um, white supremacy. Exactly. The white devils as, you know, mm-hmm. my brothers in the 70s and 80s and the 90s called them. <laughs> them we got shit. sensitive in the 2000s. We stopped calling them white what, devils. What, the <laughs> jive turkeys. <laughs> jive turkeys. <laughs> but every year, it just reveals more and more about people. And lately, mm. maybe it's because all the access to social media, you see, it seems like more, but everybody's woke now. And I'm not saying that sarcastically either. Mm-mm. Everybody's more pro-black. Everybody's learning their history, mm. like all our ancestors stressed to us. Mm. Everybody's, you know, taking time and understanding. Mm. And the wildest tweet I saw on MLK Day mm. was from the CIA wishing us a happy Martin Luther King Day. Imagine your neighbor killed you. And does your eulogy, nigga. That's disrespectful. Wow. Now. They should have said, sorry for killing him. Exactly. Mm. Once again, no conspiracy theory. It was taken to court. It was proven that he was assassinated. Mm. Somebody said on Twitter, he wasn't killed. You can just kill someone. Assassinated is calculated, planned, and um, you know you take it out and whatever. Mm-hmm. And then there's another conspiracy or you know, there's not much facts behind it. That's why I call it conspiracy. That he was killed in the hospital. He survived the assassination and he got smothered with a pillow in the hospital. Either even, way, they I killed even, him. I wouldn't even put it past. Honestly, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't you, at all. It's, it's documented. Um, worst things are, are documented that, that they've done. Oh, yeah. I'm saying here and overseas. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. The... They have a they have a disgusting history, man. Mm-hmm. And then um, you know, like I said, more people are you know cognizant and, and aware of the history. Mm. A lot of people are like you know don't let them paint um one picture of Martin. Understand mm. who he was, who mm. he fully was. He wasn't just you know this this um black rights leader that you know gave a speech and everything. Mm. They persecuted him. They locked him up. They called him names. Mm. They tried to kill him before. Mm-hmm. They ki- you know what I'm saying? They harass him constantly. Mm. And then they want to turn around and support him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And well, then... What, I, they, what they do, and this is how they skew history, and this is mm-hmm. why we're in the same place. Mm-hmm. They literally... Um, right now, they killed him. Mm-hmm. And right now, they're, they're pretending like they were always on his side. I guess that's what I was trying to say. I was just extending it. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just like... And, and it makes... And, and and that that hinders progress. Yeah, they, they don't want to uprise it. Word, they don't they don't want to 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 tell the truth because telling the truth would expose a lot of things that's going on now. Exactly. And, and they don't want that. They don't want to be the ones to face the music type of thing. Exactly. You know. Yeah, they, they don't want to pay for their crimes. Word. You know what I'm saying? Oh, their 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 payment. For what they did to us, that they stopped doing it because mm-hmm. they love bringing that up. Slavery's over. You're not getting beat anymore. Word. Your guy's getting accepted into college Word. now. Why, why? Why do you need reparations now? Da, da, da. It's like we because I'm broke, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's you know what I'm why, saying? nigga. Anyway, you know, not to make light of Word. it. Not to Word. make light of it. But on a on a, on a serious note, uh-huh. we're mes- we're missing out on generational wealth because oh, it's like absolutely. It was like why? Because they be like why. You need reparations. I'm like, why you need a trust fund? You know what I'm saying? My 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 chance for a trust fund this gone, bit, done. gone. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what and I'm I saying? wonder why. You know what I'm saying? Every <laughs> every black person's story is starting from zero. Exact exactly. Every black person's story is that what Well, I mean, I understand what you're saying, you, but like and like yeah. I'm talking about like family wise. Okay, okay. The, okay, the starting okay. point is pretty much coming out just starting from 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 zero. Like like yeah. like no, I said, I, 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 I believe what you're saying. Starting from zero because you could be the richest black person on your in your neighborhood, but mm-hmm. if you go to a different neighborhood, the way you're perceived, mm-hmm. yeah, it's completely different. Word. You're just a regular person there. Word. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Word. They don't know your money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very true. And and they assume you don't. And pe and people ask why, you know. Black people tend to be flashy and stuff like that. Well, you know, it's kind of ancestral in one end, but two, like if I'm in a certain space, 
you know what I'm saying? You're going to look at me weird unless I have a Rolex on my wrist mm. or unless I have, you know what I'm saying? I have yeah. certain brands on exactly. that say, oh, this is one, a, a rich one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, oh, you know, like man. <laughs> people say, oh, Bill Gates, he, he, he dresses in khakis and da, da, da. I'm like, that's because Bill Gates doesn't get followed around the store. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Thinking with, with people thinking he can't pay for the shit, you know, he's in, like, yeah. People, Bill Gates doesn't have to worry about word like we're coming telling from, him or anything. Where we we're <laughs> coming from places where um, people wouldn't even let us into restaurants because they felt we couldn't p- pay the bill. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, duh, like niggas have to prove they even belong in in certain spaces. Yeah, bro. and that in itself is a terrible thing. Why do we have to go through that? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we should have our own thing. Mm-hmm. Like we shouldn't have to keep proving to them like. And, and another thing, um, go back to what you said about Bill Gates. Don't act like them crackers don't be splurging, dog. Exactly. You just don't know what they splurging. See, you, you're, you're looking at it from a race point of view. Human, any human that is that rich is doing something you don't know about. They have a they, thing they're blowing their money on. Don't, don't, Gates, don't think like that. Bill Gates got a crib built into the side of a mountain, nigga. And I'm sure he has that in several other mountains. Bro, like... And if he doesn't, he can't. So, so when you talk about, like, niggas and opulence and da-da-da-da, you don't need... Nobody yeah. needs a mansion, but they nobody, don't... Exactly. Nobody but, needs... Word, you need security. Nobody, word, but nobody, <laughs> nobody get... Nobody... They don't get criticized for spending their money. Yeah. Like, if, you, if you go... Say you go on social media, right? Uh-huh. And you see like a a celebrity or a, a famous athlete or something like that. They'll show like um, a watch or something or yeah. like a car. Yeah. And there's always, and it's usually a white person. Yeah. You saw about this, this. Why well, don't like you them. use that to uplift your community? Da, da, da. How do you know what I'm doing? That too. And one, that shows, that, that further shows you why we need reparations. Exactly. Because reparations and representation. The <laughs> fact that when a a, a, a a what holds black people back wealth wise mm-hmm. is having to lift people with them because everybody you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. literally like you 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 trace I don't care like how rich a black family is. You trace their fam their family a few a black few gen uh, uh, back a few generations, they come mm-hmm. in from the hood. Yeah. You know, because the hood is is made for black people. Exactly. Let's not get into the whole structure of projects and how that was deliberately done and everything. That's a whole nother subject. Word. And and even to this day, like, you see apps um, coming about, talking about good neighborhoods, bad, bad neighborhoods. We already really we, we know we know and, and yeah and just like even I've never heard of that one. and even even oh, even even the um the concept of a good and bad neighborhood yeah we yeah know, that's another thing we know what they're talking about that's yeah, cool yeah is, is this a good neighborhood you, is this the ghetto are there black no what they're asking is do a lot of black people live here oh you say yeah you're right sorry you know what I'm saying because <laughs> even even when black people move out the hood. Mm-hmm. When black people start populating, populating a certain area, mm-hmm. white people leave, the area deteriorates, that becomes the hood. You know what I'm saying? And they just develop the new suburb. And what's that called? Gentrification. Oh, yeah. Oh, gentrification. Yeah. <laughs> Remember but then, the like, intro it, to Lupe's album? Yeah, but it, it's not gentrification. even gentr- gentrification sometimes, dog. Cause when no, you, no, no. But when you look at Broward, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? Which like, part? All of it. Okay. <laughs> so as Broward is being built, it's being built more west now. Well, no, it's been being built more west. But then the wet, like, it's... Oh, I'm that, thinking of West Miramar. No, the, that's the direction it's being built in. So West Miramar is newer than East Miramar. That's what okay, I'm saying. Okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But then it's like, and you, and you see it with, um, like, Miami. Back in the day, th- those areas were... Wynwood. You know what I'm saying? Winwood is a fantastic example. But then when you talk about like like East Miramar Pines, those mm. you, that, that's that's it, it it is the the, the it is suburbs. Right? Yeah, but it's not it's not the same as West. Exactly. Yeah. But what happens what over time as black people started moving more west, mm-hmm. white people was like, Ugh, and they started moving more west. Yeah. To where now the east side of Miramar, the east side of Pines, um, mm-hmm. is, is more seen. It's not the hood. Yeah, but it's seen as like, if they had to choose, they would choose 
it's seen yeah, yeah it's seen mm-hmm. as less desirable yeah exactly yeah that's a good way to put it you know what yeah. i'm saying the house they, they got big houses east pines east oh pines, absolutely i've seen them <laughs> but the, the property value isn't, isn't as high why i wonder why you know what i'm saying because hmm. we, mm, we live there dog, and it's like for for that to to equal you know what i'm saying because that uh, that goes back to the the value of our homes so the, my, my the value of my home is decreased just merely because I live here now, you know what I'm saying. So there there's disadvantages at every step of the way financially, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. That's been that's been created, and bro, it's just like uh, yeah, it's a it's a terrible thing, man. Mm-hmm. But um, hashtag I want my reparations. Where like not real to, talk, not to say how they built their wealth. Exactly. What's wrong with us doing the same thing? Word. All these, R- all these banks, Bank of America, Wachovia. Look yeah, how they like, got their, their, their first bit of money. It's all the slave trade. Oh, that's... Bro, they used, to, they used to insure ships with slaves on them and then purposely sink them with slaves on them. Yeah, because they had no, you know, they to, don't see any value in their lives. To, co- to collect insurance money. Yeah. Bro. Like, it's, it's sick. And now we're banking with the motherfuckers. Oh, I want to throw up right now, dog. Ugh. But yes, they get to keep their money, and we get to keep what whatever we can grab. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, grab you know, build yourself up by the shoestrings, even though we're placing this this in front of you and and all that. You know what I mean? But, and like they want you to run a race while they hold you by the waist. Word. You know what I'm saying? Like you, word. But then they <laughs> they they see it, and when you say oh reparations, they the 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 other side of like oh they they want a handout and this that and like that's cause you don't know the history that it's a it's a combination of not knowing your history and that mm-hmm. superiority complex yes because if you didn't have that superiority complex you think why is it this group of people seem to be in this bind or at all and that would that would, that queer would lead you into learning what's going on mm-hmm. but but because you see it as that. You take it as well. They're in that situation because that's how they are. Boom. Mm, exactly. Mm-hmm. You don't bother investigating, find out. Word. Know? Black and people are in the hood because black people just like the hood and they're poor and blah blah. Yeah. Blah. And then when we make it to high places, where, you know, we're still treated the same but not the same. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, everybody's surprised you're here. Surprised mm. you're su- so successful. Mm. Oh, you speak so well. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're so smart and blah, blah, blah. Why is that a surprise? I went to the same school your bitch-ass son went to. Mm-hmm. Why is there a difference? Word. Got better grades than him. And got better grades than that Word. fuck boy. Word. You know what I'm saying? I was raised correctly. like know- not, not. But like- then he knows you, so he has a higher paying job now. Exactly. But then, you know. Exactly. We, I, feel like, I feel like we've been ranting. No, well, not really, but one more thing before we do go. Mm. I was trying to transition into that, you know, the high place thing. Mm. Um, Kamala Harris, have you heard of her? Oh, yes, yes. Nah, there, it, right now, is it a, it's a 50-50 thing with her. She's um, a senator in California, mm. a former cop. I think she was high in the police, police force or whatever. Mm. And, you know, she's running for, pre- for president for 2020, and she announced it on MLK Day. Mm. You know. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Black woman, you know, that's mm. great. That's double representation. You know mm. what I'm saying? And then the facts about her start coming out. And mm. you can do your research. If I'm wrong, call mm. me out on it. Mm. They said she was not for black people in California. Mm. They said, you know, she was arresting nothing but black people, locking up black people, mm. you know, when they're innocent and dis- it like And her numbers, like the numbers of, the number of black people she locked up in comparison to non-black people is way over. Mm. And like she... You know, she's just basically not for us. Yeah. And I was like, oh, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to research any defamation against anyone mm-hmm. before I dive in. Word, and but, come to find out, I think it is true, unless what I was wrong. But but here's the thing. And here's the thing coming up um, with, the, with this race. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a lot of candidates to choose from. Yes. We don't have to be married to the first black woman Great point. face that we Great see. Great point. You know what I'm saying? Bernie talking about running. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of people talking about running. So it's like, I feel like we, it's gonna be a, it's it's a good time mm-hmm. for progressive politics. Yes, cause we it's, cause before, we really have one choice, of you know somebody who's truly a progressive. Now like, we're gonna have a slew of choice of people running on under that platform. So, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, what's her What's her name? Kamala Kamala or Kamala Harris? I think it's Kam- Kamala Kamala think. Kamala Harris. <laughs> Don't be on some. You know she's she's our she's our savior. Yeah, like the, the, once again, the, the, jump to conclusions. Bro, um, we, we're gonna have we're gonna have choices in that primary. So for real, you know what I mean. Don't yeah, like you said, don't be married to one person. Yeah, yeah. Just sorry, one candidate. Yeah, please be married to one person. <laughs> <laughs> but um, before we go, one of our one of our listeners shout out Fire underscore R E W O eight oh seven. He commented. He said Kamala is not good for the country. Her immigration stance is radical, if not a social socialist mentality, communist. Let's do some research on these people before claiming them, because they are black and Democrats. What's in the best interest for our community as a community? Both. You know because the law passed, we can invest in our own broken down neighborhoods to build it back up, black owned if we come together. So he's, you know, he, he kind of said the same thing you saying, mm. and the same thing I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. just don't be dedicated to one person. She's the first one, it's a great thing. Mm. But like I said, if that stuff is true, then you know, yeah. It's, but I mean, it's, we, it's tricky. We got, we got we got choices, man. Yeah, absolutely. We got choices. I'm I'm definitely at this point. Mm. I'd vote for Bernie over. Her. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that's it's fair. like, and it's like that's fair. You know, when when we look at things, it's like yes, represent representation matters mm-hmm. and i guess technically i'll be vo- um, voting for a white man instead of a black woman which on its face looks a little oh, like bad counter con- really counter- bad counterproductive but i believe like ju- f- just from going through like bernie's history mm-hmm. he been about this bro yeah he been about this that man is a yeah. lie and he's yeah. still doing it to the, you know what I'm humped so, over and bald. Uh. You know what I'm saying? So if that's the white face, I don't mind about the white face, bro. But you got to be about us for real, for real. Exactly. You, like, know, you know what I'm saying? I feel I feel like he about us. Because he about, I feel like he about humanity for real, for real. Yeah, no, definitely. That's definitely in his in his campaign. You know what definitely. I'm saying? And it's, it's kind of his downfall because it doesn't make him aggressive in a sense which yeah he, which, he's real which, passive but he's aggressive which, which which counts in american politics i guess it's yeah like, it's you a, have to be a bully that's what it like is like our current one word america <laughs> yeah it's just a it's, it's, it's all bullying dog yeah and you could you could see that um people people respect that mentality because yeah. I, I remember um there was a the, i watched a breakfast club interview and i feel like i'm just going to left field with Takashi Six Nine. Oh fuck that nigga. He's an idiot, right? He's so annoying. So pretty much he just talked over them niggas the whole interview. But then when you look in the comments, people are like, oh, he owned the Breakfast Club, da da da. You da like, I'm 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 there thinking I'm like, did y'all even hear what he said? Oh, he's a plant. He he didn't make any sense. He but didn't. But then because he spoke the most, people mm-hmm. gave him respect. Like, it's funny reading. I, I love. Like it, it tells because I, I talk about. I love reading comments, cause that's when you see. Like it gives you a good snippet of like, yeah, the world out there. Yeah. Word and, <laughs> and people's mindset. Yeah. So I watch certain videos and I I take some time and just like go through the comments and like see what a general consensus is. Yeah. And a lot of it, like, I'll see people like, like oh man, matter every every interview I see. I'm, I guess they don't expect nothing from these niggas. Yeah. But I'm like... Oh, the bar is on the floor. Bro, <laughs> he, he stringed together like two, three coherent s- sentences. Oh, man, much respect. I didn't even think he's smarter than he... I was like, wow. Shout out to my... um, You know, it's going to just wrap this up. Shout out to my homegirl sending us. She said mediocrity is like accepted as genius basically nowadays yeah like i said the bars on the floor and people just take whatever yeah. oh okay just give it to me i don't even care what it is just, word. i need something so bad you word. know what i'm saying word. and yeah where it's like <laughs> and even even go like we're talking about soldier boy i'm like oh respect soldier boy i'm like why i but mean I'm at like, the base I, of it no, because I mean, he's I know, trying i know why and and again he's trying but it's like all right well, he did he did praise Charlemagne for his book and Charlemagne mm-hmm. kinda shitted on him about his games and his ventures, so he the man's trying to be humble. He was like, You know what, I hope your book succeed and Charl oh, Charlemagne yeah, like yeah, kinda did, yeah. kinda like shitted on him, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I mean Yeah. But I mean it's like at the same time it's like it's kinda janky. No, you just hate Soldier Boy, that's what that is. I don't hate wait, I don't I don't hate Soldier Boy. <laughs> I hate his impact on the world. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
Well, <laughs> you no longer have to suffer. We got to wrap this episode. <laughs> but yes, thank y'all for rocking with us. Right. Hope we um, tantalize the eardrums this episode. A little bit. Yes, yes. And um, please pray for my boy, I Seen Black, man. He can't handle the... <laughs> The, the, the James Bond shit, man. Word. I heard I just Alba gonna beat his ass. <laughs> Word. I just Alba supposed to be the first black James Bond. Like, what's going on? Word. Ain't it Idris? Idris. Idris. It's <laughs> Idris. I don't love that nigga like y'all do. So I don't know his <laughs> name well. So you because I know a nigga name. I whatever. All right. Oh, you you get defensive there. All right, folks. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, we'll see y'all next week. We're releasing these uh, episodes weekly. Check out Instagram. Check our old episodes on SoundCloud, Spotify, and iTunes, and we all holler at y'all. Where this Deuces. is, oh, no, you can still outro. I'm oh, 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 okay, nigga. This is Flaka Zulu, aka <laughs> Nigga Davis, aka Sir Blackstone III, aka Pablo Escovich, aka No More, aka Stop the Violence. Bro, bro, bro. And it's your boy Jormatic, aka Wave Chappelle, aka Wavy McGrady, aka Black Galifianakis. AKA Loud Pack Choker. Forgot about that one. Mm-hmm. And AKA Indian, no do rag necessary. Hashtag Natural Way. Blow. And that's it. Out. Waves out. <laughs>